Vikings, Lunarians, and Brigandine fans alike, this is going to be an awesome, awesome video because we have our first official gameplay footage, real life gameplay footage of the new Brigandine game. This was showcased at Tokyo Game Show on September 13th, and they also did a second interview on September 14th, the following day. So this video is going to be a little bit shorter than the last two videos that I did, probably a lot shorter actually, because um, the gameplay footage that's being shown in here, as I mentioned before, is not a ton, So, and we don't have a lot of things to analyze really, but I will be pausing the video at certain points to um, just pause at nostalgia points really, because you guys are going to be, if you haven't seen this yet, you guys are going to be floored on how many things they have taken from the previous games and put into here. So if you haven't seen this, stay tuned, you're in for an awesome ride. Let's get started, shall we? This is the first gameplay footage I'm just gonna let this uh, play through. I'm gonna stop it at certain points. Oh, we have the battlefield here. Turn that down a bit. There we go. We already have a ton of uh, familiar faces on the battlefield, but we went over there a little bit um, on the previous analysis videos. So the uh, I already noticed that in the back there's a I think that's a phoenix in the back. Um, if you look at the rune area, it's it's pulsating out. That's a nice touch. I like the fact that they have a pulsing rune area and they got disconnected on the controller. Okay, so. Despite technical difficulties, we will move on to the next <laughs> slide. Okay, let's continue. This is Geno Flame. Look at that. That is beautiful. And it's a three hex too, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lizard guard on the water. Centaur in the water. <laughs> That's not a good idea. This is Flame. The animation is the same though as the Geno Flame is. There's a breath attack. Oh my God. Fire breath, man. That is. That I was assuming was a griffin. It still might be called that, but I think it's more similar to a rock bird. There's a golem attacking one of the tier 2 dragons. A white one. I have no clue what the uh, element's going to be. Maybe white red again. I have no clue. Um. I see an evolved lizard. Yeah, right there. That red one that's in the water now, that's an evolved lizard uh, man. So lizard guard, if they still uh, stay true to the names. Unicorns moving in for some heal range. Awesome. We've got some new monsters here. Um, coming up, the new monster, that the like little demon imp guy. Uh, that's right behind the unicorn. He's good. I think he's about to move. Yeah, this guy right here uh, Looks like a cat a flying cat. They um, I believe are taking the role of the fairies The pixies rather you'll see this right here looked like a phoenix Attacking that griffin or maybe the rock bird whatever, but yeah, that is a phoenix Here's a leader acting this is Rudo. This is the guy that I'm gonna start playing uh, when I first get the game Maybe Gustav. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm going back and forth between the two. So. Holy word. That is so sick. I love holy word. The way it looks, man, is so cool. That is a holy breath. Okay, so that's a holy dragon, definitely. Nightmare. Actually, um, well, I won't spoil it. Never mind. No, no. It'll happen. It'll happen, but I won't spoil it right now. Another Geno Flame. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing looking, dude. So amazing looking. Two space centaur. I think it's a high center though. I didn't catch the level on it. Another flame attack. The animation is the same, just like a quicker animation of the Geno Flame. A heal from the uh, unicorn. Nice, nice, nice. I approve. That griffin right there is enclosed. That's what the chains around it means. So higher hit percentage, etc. Like you did with the uh, grand edition and uh, did the, the piercing attacks. Or the pincer attacks. So this guy's on a castle. I think he. Uh, I think that leader cast a protect spell on himself. I don't think the castle did that. But I don't think I noticed like a static, he, not a static, a um, a heal per turn on the castle yet. But maybe you have to be damaged in order for it to show a number. Because if I remember correctly, in the previous games, they just showed a zero if you were getting healed. 
That's, I think that's an evolved uh, Hellhound, actually, because I think the original Hellhound in this game is colored like gray or like silver, something like that. Another holy word. It looks so cool, man. Pegasus on a heel. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's the tier one right there, the tier one dog or wolf. Awesome. This is another leader from the uh, Felicia. Yeah, Mana Felicia Theocracy. That's what it's called. I keep on getting these words mixed up so much, man. I'll learn. Don't worry, in time. That's a flame from a phoenix right there. If it is a phoenix, I can't imagine it being anything else really. Turn 8. I wonder if they're keeping the same turn count at 12. And if the mechanics stay the same, like if you stay on a castle and you're the attacker that you get. That's Divine Ray! Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot that happened actually. Divine Ray looks so good, man. It's quick. But, yeah, Divine Ray. Nightmare. Knocks back still. Nightmare's knock back still. From Grand Edition. That is awesome. Pincered White Dragon there. A Mandrake. Ranged Paralysis, man. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh, man. I didn't see the Mandrake anywhere on the previous videos. It's, I'm glad that they showed it here. That is really cool. Lizard Guard looks like he has like a a blade arm and not an axe which i have no problem with that looks cool to me so flame again for the kill on the nightmare oh no rip nightmare so this guy's glowing green he has protect spell on clearly so i'm glad they kept the auras that they added to green edition to where you know that you're protected at any given time or shell um assuming they call it like shell or ward i'm not sure what they're going to call it here for the uh magic resistance spell but i can't imagine they got rid of that though that was always a nice touch or a nice replacement actually to uh, the fog spell that the Lancers got. They replaced the Lancers uh, fog spell with ward. That was a very nice touch and a needed touch because fog is just like whatever man. I'm not using it on a golem. It really doesn't matter too much. That is curse. That was curse. My dude this is going to be amazing. You see how many like everything is uh, taken from the previous games. Everything. I don't see anything that's like unique really, except for like art style and character models and stuff like that. New characters, new class ups, uh, evolutions. Let's pause that real quick. But yeah, so please let me know your thoughts on that first segment there. We got more to do here because there's two videos. I can put it all in one. But uh, yeah, that was amazing, man. I cannot wait to uh, just delve into the spell roster and see the names of the spells and to see if they kept the same names. I can almost guarantee that they did. I can almost guarantee that they did. Uh, I would say the majority of names would be in there with some new names and revamped names or something like that, but they're pulling everything from the old games. Can't wait, man. I'm so excited for this, and I know you are too. So leave me your thoughts below, please, and let's move on to the next segment. Okay, before we move any further, I have to show this because it's like, it's completely and utterly random, but it is really, really cool. I got hit up by uh, my buddy Crimson in the Discord server. Shout out to you, man, for giving me the screenshot of this and showing me. Otherwise, I never would have caught it. But uh, what they're doing right here is they're reading YouTube comments on one of their trailer videos. Um, just on, the, on Happy Nets YouTube channel. And... <laughs> Let me just play it really quick. I want you to see this really, uh, on the bottom right of this screenshot. Stop. On the bottom right. That is me. That is me. Completely and utterly random. There's The majority of it is Japanese, obviously. But they put a couple of uh, English uh, comments in there. And the bottom right is me. Completely and utterly random, as I said before. But really, really cool. So, yay. I'm at the Tokyo Game Show. <laughs> Thank you so much for featuring my comment on your um, on your showcase. That is incredible for a game that I have grown up with for a for years, and I've continued to play it into adulthood. So it means a lot to see a lot to, to, to see that. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get back to the real reason why we're here. Anyway, pretty cool. Okay, back to it. They are showcasing the country selection screen right here. So this is the beginning when you start a new game. Let's roll. 
There's uh, Rubino. I forget her name. That's the Shinobi tribe. That's Tim Gustav, Holy Gustavo. That is Rudo from uh, Silesia, Theocracy. And that is Morelva, um, Country. What is the name of that girl? I forget. Anyways, that's Country Select. That is um, going to be the... Um, let's go back. That's going to be the screen that shows... Uh, how many knights I believe you start with. I think knights is going to be right here. Monsters are here. Uh, mana start is here. Uh, no, no, no. I I'm stupid. The symbol's right here, derpy. Monsters are right here. 33 monsters starting. 13 knights starting. 5 castles starting. My bad. But yeah, that's the mana symbol right here. That's castles. That's knights. And that's monsters. Moving on. Difficulty screen right here. Nothing really uh, intricate. But I do not know what this bottom part is right here. So if you... Can, uh, translate kanji please by all means let me know what this means down here um, my best guess is nothing I got nothing <laughs> moving on look at that map dude that is so sweet the cursor is there everything that we know and love man oh um, wait okay hang on guys I was hoping to stop on this screen this screen <laughs> look at this man like it's it's the same. Look at the squares. Like it's a little tiny deal detail, but it's the same. We had squares like open squares uh, for like all the uh, castles that were in the countries, and the big squares that are filled in are the capitals. Like that was in the original game too. So like just seeing this screenshot just gives me a whole bunch of freaking jollies. It's an, it's amazing. Anyways, I'm rambling again. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know what this means currently. I think that they may be in an attack phase on this screen right here because uh, opening up the map, it shows like, so it, it won't show everybody clearly. It's only gonna show like what your intentions are. So I think what they're doing is after you um, select your attackers and uh, select where you want them to go, that's what's happening right here is that you have an attack set up from here to here and from here to here. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. So anyway. Uh, really quick. So remember I uh, was unable to uh, distinguish between like the castle structures and what the um, the capital was. Uh, someone pointed out to me, I think it was Nick in my uh, previous video, that the ones with the crown are the capitals. The structure doesn't look different. I kind of wish they would change that but to be honest, but that's me being picky. But yeah, the one with the crown on it is the capital. So just to clarify that statement there. I love once again. I love the parentheses showing the stock number. That is amazing. A little tiny detail, but still amazing. So right here, they're checking one of the status screens for, uh, they're doing the organize um, phase with the status screen here because right here, I think the top is order. And uh, when they go through, the, through these uh, options, you're going to see different things that we know, like class changes and stuff like that. And um, renaming, that is in this too. So uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and go through. I don't think they go through every one of them, but this is order, I think, and you are still able to check the statuses. So this right here is the first tab showing the equipment pieces. That's what the cursor is on currently and the leader stats and stuff like that, resistances and uh, elemental affinity with offense. Um, yeah, basic stuff. And right here, I highly believe that this right here is um, some type of bonus that you will get on maybe terrain or something that can activate in a certain situation and down at the bottom here would be where your passes would go that's my assumption but that could be reversed even i i have no clue but anyways that's the first screen the second screen here is going to be what i can assume uh let me see to be his attacks right yes this is his attacks so i think this right here is the move and attack um move and this right here with the feet being X'd out, this is a pre-move. It has to be a pre-move where you have to stand still and then cast this. This is the power level of the uh, attack itself. This right here, I'm not certain 
This may be like, uh, if it's blocked or if it's like, it's not the cost. The cost is over here. I don't know what this is right here, but I can pretty heavily uh, assume that this right here is the power level of the move. But this seems to be like um, the same style. Maybe it's still power level in some weird situation. Maybe it's like um, elemental resistance. Uh, I have no idea. So if you have any idea what this might be right here in the second column, please let me know. That would be useful. Uh, down here, it seems like it's the same stuff, but I'm not entirely sure what... Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. These are spells. It's water-based right here. This is the element. This is probably some type of healing or support magic. The power level being like how much you would heal for, for example, if this is indeed a heal. I can't really tell. Um... But yeah, I wonder, actually I wonder if they put heals on other elements in this game, because you only had it with, uh, um, with white, if you don't count like the heal voice or whatever, but like, yeah, you only had like single target heals with, uh, with white. This fourth column past the, uh, elemental affinities is the hex range. That's kind of, that's pretty clear. This right here is the effectiveness of the attacks, the circle being, um, normal potency, the triangle being, uh, I think, uh, less potency. Yeah, it was less potency. So, uh, I think that's going from ground to flying. It has to be going from ground to flying, so keeping the same stuff there. So, really cool. Everything is in here, man. I, I'm, I'm stunned. Anyway, moving on to the third tab, I think is a... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, um, a bio. Yeah. This is a bio of each character, like we had on every single leader. So, there's his age right here. 17, I remember that. And all this right here talks about his story, so or his backstory. But yeah, really cool. They kept everything in here that we know from the previous games. This is amazing, man. Let's move on. I want to see more. So that is order and status. Okay, so you can see status, I think, by pressing probably Y or maybe even X. That's probably X. Slotting monsters here with order. There's equipment slots for the dragon. There's his moves, and there's a bio or description of uh, said monster. So. They're going down here. This, I believe, is class change. Going to the dragon. Okay, right here. Let me let him go down to the first one here. Okay, so this right here is rank two. This is tier two. You can see a lock symbol right here. So, before you even like. Um, make your decision to change classes you can see what you have the potential to turn into on multiple tier two ranks if you look right here we have a tier two here and a tier two here we have two tier threes right here uh it just depends on what uh, path you choose to do and i think there's even more down below i think there's a scroll bar right here that he can keep going down um he doesn't do it in this video but yes you can see every option available at tier one that is huge i love that so, here's tier three. I love the portrait right here. I think someone said that this was an ancient dragon in uh, one of my uh, YouTube comments, or was it Discord? I forget. Probably YouTube. Still really cool. Excellent. And I think the next one is renaming. Yes, renaming. I love it, dude. Amazing. So we have to we, we have to do the the thing that we did uh, during my previous during my playthroughs that I did on uh, Legend of Force and, the, and uh, Grand Edition, where people will come in and then um, uh, request to be named one of the monsters. So if you do uh, attend any of my live streams for this new game, because you better believe I'm playing on day one, uh, come on in and uh, request to be named a monster. That's always a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so. Keeping on with the rolling here. I don't think that's, uh, I think that's it for the status screen, yeah. So they don't showcase any more of that. I don't know what else is in there except for maybe delete, uh, equip, uh, etc. This right here, we got this with Grand Edition. This is the unit screen that shows the status of, I think, every country. Because I see, um, I think this is all Rubino's Knights. But in Grand Edition, you were able to see everything. They may have limited it though. Um, let me go back to that previous tab if I can. One second. Should be right here. Yeah, right here. This. Yeah, this is still just uh, Norzalio Kingdom. Okay, so I don't think they allow you to view every single country in this one, which is fair. You know, I don't think that's a good thing anyway that you can 
analyze what everybody else has in one big screen, but like, I guess you can go to the castles and check their status, but I actually haven't seen that yet, though. I haven't seen, um, like a player go to an enemy's castle and then be able to check their status. So I don't know how, like, scouting is going to work in this game. We call it scouting for short. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can't check it. Uh, maybe you can only check, like, the power level of the castle that you are attacking, and then it shows you, like, the, um, the summary of what they're going to deploy uh, on that, um, that invasion screen, right? When you attack, and they show you those two uh, countries that are fighting on that battle on that same screen, that's probably what they're doing, but maybe not. They're, st they're staying true to the original game concepts pretty well, so I'm going to assume that they still allow us to check the enemy's castles, but they may not. I don't know. So this right here is going to be more gameplay footage that we get a chance to look at. So let's go ahead and roll. It should be completely different. Yeah, this is a different battle. So This is another battle with Rudo. They love showcasing Rudo for some reason. I don't mind. I see an evolved, fin an evolved Hellhound right there. That's a Fenrir. I see another Phoenix. I see a Lizard Man. I see an Angel. Nightmare. Golem. What is the pot? What is the creature right here? Does anybody have any idea what this creature is? This doesn't resemble anything that I'm used to. Centaur is up here. Um, this right here, I think, is supposed to be the demon class. Or maybe this is another rune knight. I think the... Actually, no. That has to be the rune knight. The rune knights are here. Rudo. Right here, next to him. And then over here, I think, is another rune knight that can cast curse. So, uh, yeah. That's like a, you know necromancer or maybe a druid something like that look at the overhead view they had they, they still keep the uh, tactical view i actually like this in this version i did not like it in the original versions i never used it i like more field of view and yes you do get more field of view when you're at the um, angled version and i'll probably still stay with it but i'm not opposed to using it in this version because you have a ton uh, more uh, field of view when you're in tactical mode in this one. It's zoomed out a lot further, so I am no longer opposed to uh, the overhead view. <laughs> There's a stone golem right there in front. You see that? I think I also see an Avenger right there in the middle. This creature right here. What the hell is this? I want to know what this creature is. It's completely new. Um, this one right here is reminiscent of a Hydra, but it's kind of like a larva hydra <laughs> i don't know what to really call it but i think that this started as a green coloration i think this is tier two of the previous class i don't know what this is maybe like a baby hydra i don't know um anything else that's new not really actually i think this right here is the demon class but it looks more like a harpy i think they may have changed it to a harpy where this one casts curse and does all the black magic and stuff like that but uh it could be completely different but i think that this is what they're calling the demon class right here, so could be wrong, but there is the evolved dragon on the bridge. I think that's tier. Yeah, it's tier two. That's tier two. Rudo is backing him up. Lizard is making his way towards the water, I'm going to assume. Yup. I love the movement, man. The movement is awesome. Here goes the Nightmare. I love the pulsating rune area, man. I have to re that. That is... Look how fast it's going. That is fast forward. They kept this in here. So, uh, I don't know what button to press, probably Y or something like that. But yeah, th that's fast forward. Look at that. <laughs> Really cool, man, if you need to speed things up, because I totally get it. But uh, yeah, really cool they kept that in there, too. Stone Golem is in front, and they're speeding through the attacks, too, as well. Actually, you couldn't do that in the originals. You couldn't speed through the attacks. Like, you could speed through, like, the experience screens after you, like, you know, did your attack and then hit back and stuff like that. But, like, you, you couldn't, like, speed through the animations like that. That's pretty cool. Ice breath from that baby hydra. I don't know what it is. Wow, that's a ton of speed. That is really fast. I wonder if you can change like the potency of the speed, um, like times two and times four, something like that. So that is a demon class, I believe, right there as well. But it looks more like a harpy. 
But I think that's a demon class. I think I see a staff, maybe? Do I see a staff? I don't know. I can't tell what really tell from here. Another rude knight leader. She's on the water. Okay. There's the vampire lord variant. That's like what I'm calling the lich, but that's the vampire lord variant. That's triple blue on triple black. Makes no difference. It's just going to be normal damage, but... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. He's at level 1. Because the one that I saw in uh, in my video, I think it was the first video that I released, that this same portrait was level 20 and room cost of 70. It looks like the, the portrait looks exactly the same, though. It may, it may be different. I'm going to have to compare that with the uh, previous video, but... I assume just by looking at the portrait, it looked like the exact same thing um, when I saw the Vampire Lord variant. But uh, this is level 1, so I don't really know what to make of this. He looks like a tier 3 though. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Okay. He's level 20, she's tier 3. She's a spear wielder. Nice. I wonder if that can target two spaces away in this. That would be interesting. Just to make spear stand out a little bit better. And I wonder if she still has the spear throw ability. Those classes. That's a high centaur right there. The coloration is different. Three spaces away. Do you see that? Three spaces away. He missed. But that's a high centaur. Ghoul axe? I don't think we get to see any attacks from the ghoul in here, but uh, still. That's level 15. Did you see the level on that ghoul? That's the, that's the vampire variant. Tier 2. That's a phoenix. So I really do think that I was wrong when I was talking about like the griffin variants in my first video. I think those were supposed to be the rockbird variants. So, but there was a purple one and there was a red one. That's the red one right there, obviously, the phoenix. But, uh, yeah, I think I was completely wrong with that one. Golem still only moved three spaces. <laughs> That's fine. I totally get it. I totally get it. What is that monster? That is very unique. It seems like a support role. It doesn't seem like it would be a, like a magic damage dealer. Maybe it has two, like, a. Uh, like a hybrid type of thing going on. This is this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the pixie variant. Here's the protect spell, right there. So, I don't know if they're gonna bring pixies into this, but that's supposed to be the pixie of the game, apparently, so. Oh, look at this right here. It shows who belongs to who in like a quick visual graphic right here. It shows you what the units are for like uh, the Theocracy, which is purple, and then the, um, what is their name? Uh, Guimule or something like that. Yeah, Guimule uh, is all red. That's a really cool thing to, um, to feature. I like that. That rune area is the truth, man. Is that six? Yeah, that's six rune area. Makes sense for the leader. Or the ruler. There's his moves. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to go back to that. I know that this is the breath attack, but I want to go back to the grid. Hang on. Bring it back up. So we mentioned in a previous video that this section right here is a really nice touch. So when he goes down to the, to the breath attack, it's a non-move, obviously. This means you cannot move in order to cast it. And it says 1 to 5 right here. This is the hex range 1 to 5. So And it shows 5 spaces away. So this is a tier 3 dragon, I think. So 80 MP, yeah, it's, it's got to be a tier 3. I think that's the, yeah, that's the ancient dragon. I'm not seeing any wings, but whatever. That is really cool, man. I hate that all these ground units aren't going in the water. 
I would never do this, but I understand it uh, for demonstration purposes. So. Back with sword. What is that monster right there? The one that just attacked back. Is that? I think that that is the merman variant, but now it's a mermaid. It is a female in this one. That is the merman variant. It changed the gender. That's pretty much it. Night the mare. Cast dimension. Send that golem flying. I wish they would have done that. He has to have dimension. He has to. Holy words. I saw. I'm, I'm looking at the grid a lot when they're going through these abilities. I'm just addicted to that feature, man. I like that a lot. Wow, that's an evo that's an evolved form of the uh, monster that I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> Things are going too fast. Oh my god, man. That's a heal from the mermaid. I think I saw a heal from the mermaid. It's it's too fast. But uh, okay. Anyway, she's got protection aura on. Looks like yes, because from the uh, the cat pixie. We're gonna call it the the cat pixie from now on. No, I promise that won't trend. That will not trend. This is a targetable AOE. What is she doing here? Is it ice? No, it's dark. That's Meteor Doom! That's Meteor Doom! I totally forgot. I watched this. I totally forgot that they cast that in this demonstration. How could I forget that? That's Meteor Doom, yo. And it does still seem like it has friendly fire, but whatever. Here, man. Confirmed. Wow. Looks like that can do breath attacks too. Interesting. Okay. A red attack and a black attack. So the Fenra has access to fire and darkness. That is really cool. Okay. I'm a fan. I wonder what other spells this cat pixie has. <laughs> Other than protect, I wonder if they kept uh, silence in there. That's the demon class, level 17. Look at the abilities! Oh my god! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! I want to stop here. Actually, this one's a targetable um, AOE, 270. That's Meteor Doom again, right there. Um, this one right here is no power. These, these, this is probably weakness and dimension. Probably reverse. This is probably dimension and then weakness. This is reminiscent of the Arc Demon, but she has Meteor Doom at tier 2. This is level 17. Uh, down here, Venom, maybe? The MP is a lot higher, but it might be Venom. And down here is probably Curse. No, 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 no. The MP is over here. I keep on getting reversed. This is power level. This is MP right here. And, uh, I'm still recording. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So this is MP over here. 45 was the MP cost of Venom. So that's Venom. 108 was the cost of curse. That's curse. Uh, 56, that is weakness. 83, that is dimension. I think dimension was 88, though. Um, and 56, I think, is accurate. I'm not entirely sure. But 45 is the same. 108 is the same. Meteor Doom is more expensive now. <laughs> so instead of 255, it's been amped up to 270. But, uh, man, that is really cool, man. It's so cool that I can, like... Just see the numbers and pick out what spells they are so easily. And I know you guys can too, but that is that is stupid cool, man. Let's move on. I'm beside myself over here. Two hexes away, this is Curse right here. Killing off a leader? Is that a leader? Yep, they killed off a leader. Unit goes away. Oh no, goodbye Gish. He reminds me of Gish. Here goes his unit. Oh, wow. That's insane. Can we see a ghoul attack today? Oh, man, you could have attacked that dude. Look at me over here micromanaging. No, you couldn't. That wasn't purple. That, or that wasn't red. That was purple. Another miss? Oh, my gosh. Get him out of the damn water. 
エンドレスモードっていう名前だったんですよ<笑>つまり一回対決統一しても終わらないですね<笑>ずっと続けようとパッチンが起きて続きましてヒオボイス That's ヒオボイス There's your phoenix man Wow That is so amazing This is Icefall or Fallbird. Single target. I assume from the animation in the trailer that that was an AoE, but it's not. It's single target. And the damage suggests so as well. So that's definitely Fallbird. Stone throw. Okay, so look, look at that stone throw. That. <laughs> that's kind of like the. The only complaint I have so far about like the attack animations and stuff is the rock throw. It's just. That thing should be huge. It should like be a huge boulder over his head and then thrown to the enemy. If it misses, it misses, but like I there's like no point of contact. It it doesn't even leave his hand when he throws it. Like this one irks me just a little bit, but I'm not gonna be too picky, so it's still uh it's still early stages, so anyway. Turn the six. There's the turn heal for the Phoenix. Nice. That's the, that was the heal for the Avenger. Right down here, you saw 22 HP. That is the Dark Knight. Or the Black Knight, Avenger, whatever you want to call it. Rudo. Two abilities here. So he was able to move and use this ability right here. Which is stupid powerful. That was like trip white against trip black, I think. But you know, I want to actually confirm that. Hang on. Let's go back to that really quick. He moves. Yeah, he's trip white. He uses this attack that um, does. It shows you. It actually shows you how much damage it's going to do. I didn't even notice this this whole entire time. It shows you the damage. That's trip white against trip uh, against trip black, and it shows you the boost. So this is the normal damage. This is the increased damage with uh, applying all uh, weaknesses and resistances. Holy crap, that is amazing. I like that. And it shows you the percentage, 100% to 70% counterattack. And of course, he just completely obliterates it. Wow. And that's a move and attack. That seems kind of overpowered, to be honest. I wonder if he, like, can't use it if he moves a certain distance. That was only one hex. But uh, still, if it's a move and attack, no matter what, where he moves, that is ridiculous. Okay, anyway. Awesome. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the showcases that they had as far as footage goes. Of course, there was no English subtitles. I couldn't understand anything that they were saying. So if anybody has any experience in what they were saying and you have like something important to uh, address, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to have some discussions about what they talked about if there were certain things that were specific that stuck out. But I want to leave you guys with this beautiful collector's edition that I will be owning as soon as it gets over here. So <laughs> get your hands on this as soon as it releases because I definitely am. Again, if you have not joined up the Brigandine Discord server that I am hosting, it is in the description below. Come on over. We would love to have you. Everybody is welcome. You can also check out the website that Happy Net Games is hosting for the new Brigandine game below if you want to peruse the um, website that I did an analysis on on the previous video, so feel free to check that out. You can also check out the Brigandine fan website that Veracity Trigger is hosting, and you can find me there as well. We uh, are currently uploading and uh, talking about the new game, obviously, within the, um, the forums, so drop on by, send in an application. We have to get you approved by a mod, but uh, yeah, come on over to that fan site. We would love to have you there as well. Anything else regarding myself, you can find my Twitch channel in the description below where I'm currently streaming at Final Fantasy Marathon along with Dragon Quest XI on Tuesday, Thursday, and then of course some chill streaming with Soul Calibur VI and some Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia currently. And of course, as soon as this drops, there will be room made in my schedule for this game several times per week. Throw me a follow on Twitch if you are so inclined, and I hope to catch you while I am live one day. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one. I am your host, Vago Sonari. Farewell, Burgundine fans. Peace.